All right, guys, today is Saturday, and we got an exciting video for you. We are doing a top five Arthur Adams uh, covers, which is really exciting because a fan of the show requested it. And uh, we have a Stranger Comics mystery box and another eBay purchase. So stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Welcome back, gainers, to another incredible, exciting episode of... Comic Games! <sighs> if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Aurora Highs. Very frolicky today. Fro frolicky, I can't say it. You know, it looks like a forest princess, so bow down and respect. A fairy and princess, perhaps? Uh, a forest or a fairy princess, so <laughs> hug a tree. Give back to nature, guys. I like it. I like yeah, it. yeah. All okay. right. Like we said, today is Saturday, and uh, normally we do the new new comic review, but Princess is going to be out of town this week, so she's not going to be able to get the, pick up the books and uh, be here for the show. So we have a special episode for you. It's like we said, uh, a fan of the show uh, right here requested that we do uh, bring back the top five uh, artist covers, and we were like, you know, we all like Art Adams, so mm -hmm. we decided to do an Art Adams top five, which is really fun, and we had a really good time making the list. So this is us coming up with a top five list of the Gaines family favorite books and uh stranger comics did put out a mystery box so we do have a 50 dollars mystery box from stranger comics just you know they're awesome awesome company and uh a crazy ebay buy so we'll see i i bought some books there was three of them and it came in something this small so i'm kind of afraid you know we're gonna do all of our uh, scary stuff with you so uh before we get into that there is one thing that uh, we always do and what does that say uh, we opened up a beer, or mm -hmm. I do. Anyways, this is a Craft Will Cocktails. It's a wine cocktail, not a beer. Oops, my bad. I'm sorry. This is a pineapple margarita. Yum. And it's 10.5%. <laughs> yum. And there's one other thing about this that you might not know. Someone here, somewhere in here, is a point two, and point two is the best part. So let's get into this beer. Wine cocktail, whatever. I have one for a cocktail. Cocktail wine. Oh, it definitely needs to be over ice or shaved ice. Whoa, that's a lot. Oh, Does it tastes like pure alcohol. Yeah, nice. Yeah, shaved ice, ideally. Shaved ice. Get one. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Let's get into the comics. So, like we said, uh, we have our list here. Uh, we used to always do this all the time where we do like top five stuff, and we definitely should be bringing some of this back. But uh, this one, we're doing top five artist cover, and the, and the topic is Art Adams. Unfortunately. A lot of the books we liked from him, we didn't have a lot of them. So we do have uh, one of them, and then we'll get pictures of the rest. So we're going to start out the list here. We have Strange Academy number one. And uh, this is the first print um, from, Ar from Arthur Adams that came out with the original one. Obviously, a ton of first appearances. You got Emily Bright, uh, Doyle Dormammu, the whole group of students. I would say... Um, Super underrated book for being a first print copy. I mean, it only goes for like 35, 40 bucks in comparison to the, the cover A goes for a hundred. And it's, you know, all, I think a lot of the Strange Academy books are really good covers, but this is definitely a good one. Yeah, this is like a more psychedelic, like it seems like it kind of combines it with, you know, Ghostbusters, Supernatural, Spectral. So I can understand. I think it's one of the only ones with Emily as the forefront character too, right? Yep. Yeah. For the, yeah, right. for the other I, ones. I so. believe that's right. All right, two. What, number two? Wait, wait, number four or number two? Number, oh, number four. Ah, you're throwing me off. Number okay. four. <laughs> but it is American number two. It's a one in 50 uh, variant, ratio variant. So, you know, as you know, and it's a very great cover, very bright, very like, okay, I like America Chavez. And it goes for $280. Yeah. And it came out in 2017, so it is the first volume. Nice. Not the second volume, the first. Yeah, we're suspecting since, you know, 1 in 25, it's one of those ones that, like, a lot of people probably weren't buying that many of that book, so that's mm -hmm. probably a reason why the price has gone. Plus, the cover's awesome. Yeah. There's so many good American Chavez covers. Mm -hmm. Doing there it great. It doing it great. All right. Number three. Number three we got here is, uh, this is Black Cat number nine, and this is the Anniversary Frame Border from 2021, and it's a store exclusive. And I remember seeing these, like, on the... When they were coming out and i was like a lot of them looked really cool they looked similar to those books that came out like what in the, the 80s, 80s. yeah it's kind of like an homage to that and i know art adams did a bunch of them the black cat one was by far the prettiest one i know that was on the princess's list to be put on this top five for sure so uh cool and i don't think those were hard to find i mm -hmm. kept seeing them when they were coming out and i didn't see any at my lcs or anywhere yeah i hardly ever see them for sale on on ebay too so 
Must I, be pretty rare. I'm thinking like the people at the old school comic shops that used to order them. They, they ordered those kind of covers back in the 80s. Like, I'm not going to reorder them now. What the heck? It's the past. Yeah, I'm that's true. The future. Yeah, that is true. All right. So number two. Now we're on number two. We got New Mutants number 25. It's a 1 in 25 ratio variant from 2011. And funny thing about the series is that there's no keys in the series. So yeah. Yeah. as far as you can tell, that's a dope, dope cover. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, she has big boobs. Yeah. And I can I can get behind that or in front of them, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like, he did a lot of these, like, there's a very similar ones where they kind of have, a, like, a doll kind of face. Yeah. Sort of, to them. You know, but this is one of those ones where, like Zach said, there's not, like, a bunch of keys in this one, and hardly, probably hardly anybody was buying this. So, it's like when that 1 in 25 rare. came out, and everyone realized how good it was, hardly anybody has it. So, that's why it's so expensive to get. But, you know, it's kind of one of those those ones, um, uh, also, where it kind of started, like, now, whenever Art Adams does a cover that's similar to that, people are buying it, just anticipating that it's going to be as valuable as that one. It's mm -hmm. crazy. All right, last up, and uh, Zach was like, this has to be number one. Otherwise, I just stick it yeah, so much. There's gonna be, someone's going to be in trouble. And this is Young Allies, number six. It's also a 1 in 25 uh, variant cover. You got Firestar on the cover. Out of all of these side profile ones our Adam did, I, this is by far the best one. By far, you know, the, she looks pretty good in this one. And uh, also, cool thing about this is, there's fewer than 10 copies graded in a 9.8. And uh, Zach gave me a little history lesson. I was like, what is the Young Allies? And what was the Young Allies, Zach? So the Young Allies was basically the sidekicks of the main Marvel superheroes, or mostly the main Marvel superheroes. So it was Toro, Bucky, and a couple random kids. Because just yes, like the same idea with Power Rangers, get kids in a group. Why not? It sounds like a great idea. But yeah, yeah, it's two... two main important uh what's it called sidekicks that was back in there except you know toro was not they don't talk about toro right now, <laughs> sadly we don't talk about toro but yeah it's cool they're fighting nazis they're fighting other people they're having a good time yeah yeah mostly cool. almost dying in every issue there it's you great. go <laughs> oh yeah so if you guys like our adams be happy to uh put down your top five our adams covers i didn't realize he's been around for such a long time and still mm -hmm. stayed relevant yeah. You know, he's making books way back then and still staying really rough. Oh, Coco's going crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get into some more stuff. So before uh, before we get into the mystery box, we're going to check out this one. So I bought this in a lot. It was three She-Hulk covers from Sensational She-Hulk. I'm working on my run. And uh, it looked okay. I think the guy kind of, he posted, you know, like when someone sells three books and they only post one as the main one and then they show the other books later. I think people get confused, like, what's in there. Yeah. And, yeah. uh... I don't know. I'm got a little worried that three books fit in this tiny so little envelope. Wow. Zach, as soon as Zach got out of the mailbox, he's like, dude, you have the worst luck getting comics. Yeah, yeah. I felt, I felt really bad. <laughs> and, you know, it just, it just it just happens that way. You know, it's... yeah. You go on a spree of like, okay, these, all these sellers been shipping it like pros. <laughs> it's bad. bulletproof. It's like great. And then... This happens. Dude, they just use backing boards. They just use backing That's, boards. They didn't even do cardboard. Did, do At least the books have backing boards in it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, at least... That's pretty bad. Alright. But um, these are some of the uh, the cooler keys we were looking at. Mm. That, there's one of them I really yeah. dig. That I'll save that one for the end. Well, they're in order, so it's 52. Yeah. So it's Sensational she 52, 53, and 54. Know. Eh, they look okay. I don't think they got, got any more damage than they were already were. But Sensational Shield 52, that's the Adam Hughes cover. I dig it so much. Yeah, I'm trying to collect this whole run. I got a couple of the bigger books already. I'm, there's not much, you know, much of left for me to, to get on. But Yeah, I, I, I like the transitions of the green from light to dark. Mm -hmm. And we got Sensational Shield 53, and that's homage to which one's that? The Amazing oh, Spider-Man. Yeah, for, it's uh, either, what, 40 or I think so. It's 39. the Ramita cover. The Ramita cover. It's either 39 or 40. And this one's dope too, but you got uh, number 54. That one's crazy. Looking, I get right? like the that, Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, kind of. definitely Bride of Frankenstein homage. Yeah. But yeah. those are three, you know, decently valuable ones, like all right in a row, but knocking those off the list. I'm not, you know, I didn't think they were going to be that high a grade when right. they came in, but that kind of worked out okay. <laughs> kind of. It was weird. Yeah, yeah. Those U-line things don't work very well. They are, yeah, that is Not true. for comics. That is true. 
You know how it goes, guys. We had to see what it came. So, this is what you all been waiting for. We have Stranger Comics $50 mystery box. And uh, let's say our good friend Sebastian, who we got to meet this uh, last big con. He's like nicest guy I've ever met. He like acted like we were long friends and we've never met him in person before. So it's a good feeling. Yeah, definitely check them out on Instagram. Their their stuff they're putting out has awesome artwork with great stories attached. They're even doing like books and stuff now, like regular books. So so Zach's got some information on the mystery box. While I'm trying to cut this guy, what do you got, Zach? So they did a last minute numbered mystery box. They're fifty dollars with a lot more value from the vault. Plus, variant limited to the number of boxes sold on the live. They were thinking 40 or 50. Who knows what it is? You might say it in there. And so everything will be pretty dang rare. Uh, okay, plus a free remark by me. Well, I is. don't know if he's... Oh, <laughs> there, there is. is. There's the remark. <laughs> okay, okay. Nice. I think that's... Well, with some ghost variant. So probably limited to 40. Because, I mean... It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, some of the stuff, if it's limited to 500 or less, or even a thousand dollars, it's ghosts because everybody keeps it in the collection. This might be even limited more. Yeah, we've got some books from them in the Super past that ghost. were like, what, 10 or less? Oh. Some of them. And they like yeah, they sign and remark like everything if you want them to. It's super awesome, you know. Yeah. And the covers are, are crazy. They're so good. I kind of have to avoid their live shows because I stand yeah. too much bloody money. <laughs> and I start talk, trying to talk British and it doesn't sound right. Not sure with theirs which one. I guess we'll go this way. I'm not 100% sure which one's. Which ones? Ooh, okay. So you got Niobe and Dura. This is Stranger Comics issue one. Oh, awesome cover. I think like Niobe's kind of like their main character, right? Like yeah. overall for their kind of like the basis of the universe. You know, I wanted to read the story, and the princess has, I think, all the almost collections. all of them or all of them. I can't remember which. I need to read them because she said they were really good. So I don't know <laughs> that one. This one's signed, but you got Vampire Hunter Message from Mars number one. This is really cool. It's almost like a, like a watercolor sort of thing, and then you got the signature on there. So, this, yeah. Oh, this is Vampire Hunter D? Yeah. Oh, is it, or, a, or is it an homage of it? No, it's Vampire Hunters. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, the, that series. There. It looks like it's a, a limited run. Classic anime. Mm -hmm. Oh, such a great That's movie. an anime series? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, maybe you have the full... Oh, you got another cover here, so the... All of them are signed? Uh, number one as well, it's just a, basically a different color. I'm sure some of these are, like, which depending on which color is more limited than the other one. Oh, okay, good, we opened up. That one's dope. All right, then you got Vampire Hunter's Message from Mars, number one. This is really cool, with riding the horse, and then the sword with the, the eyeball monster underneath. Hmm, I like it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Nice, nice. This one's cool. That one looks like the rare. Mm hmm It's rare. And then they've got Niobe, and this one's signed three times. It looks like with a bunch of the main characters on there. This is probably the, the rare one out of the, the group, but that one's super cool. I would say so. I like the style on that I, one, too. I want to say it's a homage of a movie. That could be wrong. I almost, yeah, almost did... thinking Zoro, but I could be wrong. Zoro. <laughs> Z for Zoro. They're homaging there. It does kind of look like a movie homage. I don't know. If anybody mm. recognizes the movie homage, let us know in the comments. That'd be down funny below. if I was right. That'd be ridiculous. It could be. It could be. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to wrap the show up for today. A little quick one for you. As usual, if you like the show, love the show, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down. Leave us a comment down below because we love you guys and we love to hear all your thoughts. And, uh, yeah. Anything else, Zach? Yeah, I guess, sure. How do you do that is you have to be born of royalty. I'm not talking about the princess. And I don't know much about it. And that's how you become Queen Elizabeth. Let's, let's, the, which one? The, 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 the one that's alive right now. The second? Oh, the What? The fourth? The fourth? The sixteenth? Is it? Yeah, the Grand Arch Elizabeth, the sixteenth. There you go. Yes, that's something. It's huh. real. I swear that to God. That makes sense. That makes sense. I swear to God. All right, guys. Until we see you next time, stay safe and remember. <laughs> Get the gate! Get Ow! Get